It's good to see you again in Chapter 5, Systems of Equations and Inequalities. Today in this video, we are going to talk about systems of inequalities. We are going to learn how to graph a linear inequality in two variables and following the same procedure, how to graph a nonlinear inequality in two variables. Solving some mathematical models involving linear inequalities is coming up and graph a system of inequalities on the way next. So let's start our discussion with systems of linear inequalities and their graphs. Equation of the form ax plus by equals c is a linear equation and when graphed, it will give you a straight line. Now if we change the symbol equal symbol by any one of these four unequal symbols that is greater than, less than, greater than or equal, less than or equal, then we will obtain a linear inequality in two variables. For example, y less than 2x plus 1 is a linear inequality since it contains the unequal symbol less than. And the graph of an inequality in two variables is the set of all points. In this picture, we can see the graph of this linear inequality y less than 2x plus 1 is the blue shaded region. That means any point that is situated in this blue shaded area is the solution of this linear inequality. Now, solutions of a system of linear inequality always comes in an ordered pair. When you substitute the x coordinate for x variable and y coordinate for y variable and if it obtains a true statement then this ordered pair is the solution of this inequality for example 3 2 is the solution of the linear inequality 2x plus y greater than 3 since if we plug a 3 in for x and plug 2 in for y it obtains 8 is greater than 3 which is a true statement and that is why 3 2 is the solution of 2x plus y greater than now, how to graph a linear inequality in two variables? In our first step, we are going to replace the unequal symbol by the equal symbol, which will give us the corresponding linear equation. And a graph of linear equation is a straight line. Now, if our original inequality contains either uh, less than or equal or greater than or equal, then this straight line would be a solid straight line. But if our original inequality contains either less than or greater than, then it will give us a dashed straight line. For example, if we have to graph 2x minus y less than 3, then first we are going to replace the unequal symbol, which will give us the corresponding linear equation 2x minus y equal 3. Since our original inequality contains less than sign, so this straight line would be a dashed straight line. So this red dashed straight line is the graph of our corresponding linear equation 2x minus 1 equal 3. Now this red dashed straight line divides this whole region into two parts. So in our second step, we are going to choose a test point and verify our inequality at this point to find out which half plane is the solution set for this inequal. So um, now we are going to choose the test point 0, 0, but that you can choose any point as a test point, but it is super convenient to choose 0, 0 as a test point. So this is our original inequality, 2x minus y less than 3. Now we are going to plug 0, 0 into this equation for both of our variables. And after that, we find out 0 less than 3, which is a true statement. That means 0, 0 is in the solution set for this linear inequality. In our third step, if the true statement results, then the part that contains the test point, you have to shade it this area as this is my solution set for this inequality. Since for this case, in our second step, we have find out that this satisfies the 0, 0. So the part that contains 0, 0 would be the solution set for this linear inequality. So we will shade this. This red shaded area is the solution for this linear inequality. Now let's do 
one more example in graphing linear inequality. This time, we are going to graph 4x minus 2y is greater than or equal to 8. So, um, our first step would be replace the inequal symbol by the equal symbol, and it will give us 4x minus 2y equal to 8. So now, in order to draw this straight line, first we need to find out the x-intercept, and for this, we have to plug y equal to 0 into this equation, and after that, we will find out that x is equal to 2, so our x-intercept is 2. And the next, we have to find out the y-intercept by plugging x equal to 0 into this equation, and after solving, we will find out that y equal to negative. So, since we have found out that x-intercept is 2 and the y-intercept is negative 4, and since our original linear inequality contains the symbol greater than or equal, so our straight line would be a solid straight line. Okay, here we draw the graph for the corresponding linear equation, and we find out a solid straight line. Now, this straight line divides this whole region into two parts. In our second step, we are going to find out which parts belong to the solution set of this linear inequality by um, choosing a test point and verifying our inequality at this test point. We are going to test this inequality at 0, 0. This, uh, this is our original inequality. We are going to substitute 0, 0 for both of my variables. And after that, we find out 0 is greater than or equal to A, which is a false statement. That means um, this inequality does not satisfy um, our test point zero zero. So in our third step, since our um, statement results as false, so we are going to check the other part or the region that does not contain the origin or the point zero zero. Here, this green shaded area is the solution set for this linear inequality. Let's find out how to graph a nonlinear inequality of two variables. The procedures would be the same. For example, suppose we are to graph the inequality x squared plus y squared is greater than or equal to 16. So our first step would be, as usual, replace the inequal symbol by the equal symbol, which will give us x squared plus y squared equal to 16, which is an equation of a circle which centered at the, at the origin with radius 4. And since our original inequality contains the simple greater than or equal, so our circle line would be a solid circle line. Now this solid circle line divides this whole region into two parts. The first part is inside the circle and the other part is outside the circle. Now in our second step, we are going to choose a test point and find out which part is the solution set for this inequality. So we will test at 0, 0 and we are going to plug 0, 0 for both of our variables in our inequality. After that, we find out that this 0, 0, that is at this test point, this inequality is not satisfied So because it gives us a false statement. In our third area, since it gives us a false statement um, at 0, 0, so we are going to shade it the other part that does not contain the 0, 0. So this blue shaded area would be the solution set for this inequality. Now let's do some application regarding linear inequalities. Suppose x represents height, which is measured in inches, and y represents weight which is measured in pounds. Now there is this system of linear inequalities formed by two linear inequalities um, which gives the healthy weight region. We need to show that the point 66, 160 is a solution of the system. So for this one, we are going to substitute 66, 130 into each of these inequalities and find out whether they are verified at this point or not. So this is my linear system, um, linear inequality system, and we are going to substitute 66 and 160 into each inequality. Take the first first inequality, plug 66 in for x and 160 in for y. After that, we found out that 189.8 is greater than or equal to 180. We 
which is a true statement. That means 66 one sixty satisfy our first inequality. Take the second inequality and do the same. And that gives us 110.6 less than or equal to 140, which is our true statement. That means 66 160 also satisfy our second inequality. Since this ordered pair satisfies both inequalities, thus this ordered pair is our solution for this system. Now let's find out how to graph a system of linear inequalities. Here we will give the example of this system where our first linear inequality is x plus y greater than 5 and the second one is 2x minus y less than 4. In our first step, we are going to replace the inequal symbol by equal symbol. So um, let's take the first first inequality and replace the symbol and find the x-intercept by plugging y equal to 0 and find y-intercept by plugging x equal to 0. Do the same for the second inequality. First, you replace the inequal symbol and then find x-intercept by plugging y equal to 0 and find y-intercept by plugging x equal to 0. So in our first two step, we find out that the x-intercept for the first corresponding linear equation is 5, 0 and y-intercept is 0, 5. So since our first original linear inequality is containing the symbol greater than, so our straight line would be a dashed straight line. For the second corresponding linear equation, we have found out that our x-intercept is 2, 0 and our y-intercept is 0, negative 4. And since it is containing the symbol less than, so the straight line would be also dashed. Here we draw the both of our straight line, uh, which would be dashed straight lines. After that, in our step two, we are going to find out which half planes belongs to the solution set of those inequalities. So we are going to take our first inequality and uh, we are going to test it at 0, 0. And after that, we, we found out that it gives us a false statement. That means for, for our first inequality, it does not satisfy our test point 0, 0. So the part that containing 0, 0 is not the solution set for our first inequality. Take the second inequality and test it at 0, 0. And we find out that it gives us a true statement. That means the part that containing 0, 0 is the solution set for our second inequality. Then, if we shaded those parts for the both of our inequalities, we find out that there is this black, black shaded area that is in the middle of those two shaded area, um, um, which is the common solution area for the both of the inequalities. So, in our step 3, we are going to find out those area and uh, we are going to shade it this common solution area that is satisfied by the both inequalities and that is the solution set for the system of linear inequalities. So that is it for today. I'll see you in the next video.